Today's story is number 13. Put yourself in others' shoes. A company executive once asked an office worker to bring him ch uh, change for a hundred dollar bill. The man came back with four twenties, two fives, and ten ones. The executive was so impressed with this performance that he appointed the man to be uh, to an important position in the company. It is essential to put yourself in the shoes of the user, listener, or reader. Okay, let me read it again. A company executive once asked an office worker to bring him change for a hundred dollar bill. The man came back with four twenties, two fives, and ten ones. The executive was so impressed with this performance that he appointed the man to an important position in the company. It is essential to put yourself in the shoes of the user, listener, or reader. Yeah, this uh, mindset is especially important for people who deal with uh, their customers, their listener, People who, and then those people who write um, artic uh, articles or books, or people who are engaged in customer service. Mm. If we want to give a re really satisfactory uh, service, <clears throat> um, maybe in today's in modern days, people where. Uh, Many more and more people use a credit card or debit card or some kind of such card or um, prepaid card. We don't have this kind of circumstance so often as before. Yeah, uh, we not many people are uh, paying with cash these days. But yeah, we need. The important message is the mindset to put ourselves in other's shoes and think about other people's convenience, well-being, and comfort. It reminds me of an episode from ancient Japan. Once a samurai lord was enjoying a hunting in the forest in a hot summer day. Uh, after uh, many hours, he got exhausted, and then also he was extremely thirsty. The samurai lord. In those days, he, he yeah he was not carrying any uh, water bottle or any such uh, comfort uh, comfortable and uh, and there was no uh, ice cream vend vendors or. There's no convenience store. He was in the middle of the forest. But uh, fortunately, he found a <coughs> isolated uh, temple. Uh, and then he visited the temple and asked for a cup of uh, water. And he was a samurai lord, so everybody in his province uh, obeyed his uh, order, so he could behave in a kind of arrogant way, uh, bring me cold water, I want to, <laughs> I'm thirsty, I want to be refreshed. And then the acolyte in the temple brought a cup of uh, cold water. You know, there, there was no refrigerator, but they, have ac they had access to cold water from the well. The water from the well was very cold even in summer. So first he brought a cup of water from the well, and then the samurai lord could instantly alleviate his thirst. And uh, uh, extreme thirst uh, was, uh, was gone now, but still he was a little dehydrated. So he asked for the second helping, and the temple acolyte brought the second cup with a uh, lukewarm green tea. And then the samurai lord 
uh, grabbed it and then drank it with one swallow. And he was really satisfied. But then he wanted to enjoy the green tea a little bit more. Green tea was so delicious. And then the temple acolyte brought the third cup. It was uh, hot green tea. Uh, Samurai Lord uh, had a drink and he was completely satisfied with the hot, delicious, thick green tea. Um, <clears throat> so Temple Acolyte put himself in the shoes of this Samurai Lord. Uh, so he first brought the uh, cold water and second lukewarm uh, green tea and the third time really hot and thick green tea. And then Samurai Lord was so impressed by his uh, service and then he adopted him and he uh, gave him a high position in his uh, uh, in his uh, uh, army. Yeah, this is a very famous anecdote in the history of Japan. The name of the samurai lord is uh, Toyotomi Hideyoshi, and the acolyte uh, name, uh, I forgot. <laughs> uh, he's very famous too in, later, in his later years. So, uh, it's true, uh, regardless of time and culture, if we can give such service to people, uh, that's really a good deed. Good deed will surely bring back good effect. It's one of the six parameters. Number one, uh, kindness and generosity and giving. Uh, thinking about others' well-being is already is a good deed in our mind. So we can practice good deed not only physically but in our mind. Uh, mind precedes our action. Uh, so we, if we can start with our mind, if we use our brain a little bit more to put ourselves in others' shoes, and try to give a uh, really nice and good service. Yeah, that will surely bring happiness to ourselves. Okay, so that's, I think, what we can learn from today's story.